it's Friday, so today is a first impressions Friday. The product that I'm going to be testing today is the Rimmel London Match Perfection Foundation, which is this one. You get one fluid ounce, which is roughly the same amount of what you get on every different foundation on the high street. I've heard so many things about this, saying how good it is, and people have been saying that they've been buying it so many times because it literally matches your skin perfectly. So I thought I would try this because, as you can see on my face, I have some blemishes are coming up my skin. It's getting really bad this past week. And I really need a foundation that's full coverage or near enough full coverage that's going to get rid of all of these blemishes all on my face and get rid of all the redness throughout the whole day because I need a foundation that is going to get rid of all of this because it's absolutely horrible. I'm hoping that there's good things about this foundation. I'm hoping that I really like it. On the website it says there are 11 available shades and it is £7 RRP. On the bottle it says traceless coverage foundation with advanced smart tone technology for perfectly flawless skin under any light enhanced with sapphire radiance for an illuminating glow lasts all day so I have really high expectations for this it also has SPF 18 in it as well and the color that I've got is the light porcelain I'm the lightest shade in every foundation so I know that when I go for a foundation I don't need to test it out beforehand because it will probably match my skin perfectly so let's apply this to half of my face and see the transformation and see if I like it as you can see my face is very red I have lots of blemishes I have them all across here on my chin on my other side and on my forehead I've been having a bad break out throughout the last week so I'm thinking that this is probably the best time for me to do a review on a foundation so let's see how it goes on it's very runny that is just with one pump so I'm hoping that it does do good things it's literally just gone on my jeans which is not good so you can see how runny it actually is so let's go and do this side of my face and I'm going to be using my Real Techniques blending brush for this and this is probably the best brush that I've ever used and it really does make foundation go on so much easier and so much better This is half of my face that has been applied with one application of the foundation. So this side has been applied and this side hasn't. If you can see on there it has done quite well to cover up the redness and it's done pretty well to cover up the blemishes, it hasn't completely covered them up. I'm liking this at the moment. You can still see my blemishes on my cheeks here and on my forehead and you can see a little bit of redness on my chin but it has worked very very well. I'm really happy with this actually, I think it's done pretty good. So let's do all of my face and let's see how it looks after that. So I've now done one application on all of my face. As you can see, the colour match is very, very good. It's near enough perfect for my skin, which I absolutely love. It doesn't look cakey at all. Um, it has done pretty good so far. It hasn't covered up my under eye circles very well at all, but hardly anything covers up my under eye circles. I have to buy the Boing Concealer by Benefit to actually cover them up. And my forehead seems to look a lot better. It does seem a bit dewy. 
it might take a little while to dry but we'll see. I'm going to apply another coat of this to see if it can easily be built up on the face and see if it looks cakey or if it looks okay. So this is with two coats on of the foundation. It doesn't actually look much different from having just one application on. I would say that it doesn't actually blend in very well. Obviously you've seen how runny it is when I put it on my hand and it's actually dripped on my jeans because of how runny it actually is and I would have thought it'd have a thicker consistency and I don't think that means that it's full coverage at the moment. I think it's sort of like medium coverage. I don't think it's that good. Um, it's done okay but as you can see I still have my blemish that's quite big on my chin. It's done okay on my redness. I mean it's done pretty well on the redness, hasn't done well on the under eye bag and on my cheek here it hasn't done pretty well at all. It does feel quite dewy so I'm hoping that it does set in a while. So I'm going to go ahead, do the rest of my makeup and I'm going to come back and see how it looks. So I've just finished off my makeup, it's taken me about half an hour to do it and so far it feels like that the foundation is actually set and you would have thought that it would set within half an hour. When I started doing the rest of my makeup, it wasn't completely set. I think it took about 15 minutes to fully set in my skin. I did have to use a lot of concealer with this because it does not cover up all of the blemishes. It might be because I have had a breakout this week, so that might be why it hasn't fully worked on my skin but it has covered up the redness which I'm really happy about. The foundation states that it lasts all day so it is now 12.03 p.m. and we will see how it goes throughout the whole of the day and I'll keep you updated in the next few hours. Bye! Hi guys, so I'm back and it's now 3.55 p.m. so it's been four hours that this has been on so let's see how it looks now. It seems to be doing okay. I mean, my blush has managed to stay on, which I think is really good. My eyeshadow is still on, so it hasn't taken that off. The only thing I would say is that my spots really are coming through. If you can see all around there, you can see the redness of my spots. On my chin, you can see the redness as well. And my nose as well. And under my eyes, it doesn't look the best either. So I don't really like this product much. I think it did build up quite well, but it did start to give me a bit of an orange tint on my skin. I don't think I would repurchase this. I'm not sure. I don't like it very well. As you can see, like I said, my blemish is around my chin around there and the redness on my chin's come out. Also the spots on my cheeks have come out and on my forehead, so it hasn't stayed on all day. I don't see how it can say that it can stay on all day because it really hasn't. It's only been four hours, I haven't done anything crazy and it still hasn't stayed on properly. It's good that it's kept my blush on. I think it's good because I have dry skin, so it's good for my dry skin. It seems to be moisturising my dry skin, it doesn't seem to be making it even more dry and it does feel so smooth on my skin. So I like the fact that it's very smooth as well. The colours are not too bad, I think it matched me very very well being light porcelain but like I said I I would not repurchase this. So it's going to be a thumbs down from me on this first impressions Friday of the Match Perfection Rimmel foundation which is this one. I am I really don't like it. It's not my favourite. Honestly the Wake Me Up foundation seems to be a bit better but the colours are a little bit off but I don't think this is good, even my under eyes aren't very good and it doesn't seem to last all day but it does feel very smooth and it is good for dry skin. I don't think it would be good for oily skin at all. Even if you put a matte powder on it, it won't be good for oily skin. It would just make your oil seep out. So for dry skin, girls, you should definitely try it. If you have blemishes, probably not try this but if you're sort of alright with your redness or if you can put a matte powder over the top of it, it's completely fine. Let me know how it worked for you if you tried it. And I have many more products that I'm going to be testing out on First Impressions Friday so if you have any requests just leave me a comment down below and I will see you in my next video guys. Bye! It literally matches your skin but my blush is man. I don't know if you can see that but it's quite runny that's just ooh.